Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today in this video, we're gonna finish texturing our 3D model. I'm sorry if I took too long to make this video. Uh, I've just been trying to make things more smooth and less complicated for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed and liked our channel, please do. And let's get back into the video and I'll show you how I made it. So let's just get started off by just identifying what type of texture that we need or a material that we need. So to first do that, we need to know what a lightsaber is made of. So what is it made of? It's metal, I believe. Yep, it's metal. So we have to find the type of color that a metal has. Now for a silver color. Uh, you can go and check this on Wikipedia or any other site that you believe is right. Uh, the color is actually C O C O C O. It's, uh, yeah, it sounds weird, but it's C O C O C O. It's a hexadecimal color. So you just have to do is create a new material, uh, choose a type of material that you want. The material type that you want is metal so you're gonna have to choose glossy so glossy does it for metal because glossy reflects now if you see metals they to some extent not like mirror but to some extent they just release light they bounce off light so that's why the reason we chose uh, we chose glossy for this case so I just looked at two or three reference pictures and for it, uh, for a Luke Skywalker type of lightsaber, mostly it's silver, and golden to bronze type of a color, and the switches that you can see, the on and off switch, I believe. And so I also added the black material just to give it a popping look. So just go on Wikipedia. Step one, step two, just copy the hexadecimal colors of the required color and then come back in here, set your type, the material type to glossy. Uh, you can mess around with roughness, that's up to you, but just make sure to select the face on a mesh, add your material, then press assign and those individual uh, those individual faces will be colored in that material. So this is how I made it. It's quite simple. Other than this, if you have any questions, I hope I clarified this. I'm gonna speed this forward because my PC is actually not really good at rendering and it's gonna slow down. Other than this, I'm gonna show you how to just simple rendering and cycles renders. And EV, I, I tried to do EV, but my PC started acting up. So just for recording, uh, recording this video, I didn't want to mess it up. So just bear with me and watch the video till the end. Other than that, before I speed up the video, um, just quick way to show you guys on how you can assign a single face to a single color. So, an example here, you just select the face in edit mode and then just go and select the material that you have already created. Now, I, I know it's weird, but this is actually the simplest way that I found to assign a specific texture or material to a single face. So, I'm about to speed it up, so see you in a bit.
so this is it you guys this is the final rendered image of our 3d model i hope you like it if you do please hit the thumbs up like and subscribe and i'll see you in another one